Hey y'all, welcome to another week of the Daily Devos with Nancy Jo. I um, love it when I can see, and I pray that you see it this week too, but um, how what we're studying lines up with things that are going on. I love that the Lord who knows the beginning from the end and everything in the middle um, has word in place for us to strengthen us, to carry us, to um, give us wisdom and revelation, wherever we are. So whatever it is that we need, wherever we are at this point in time, the Lord has prepared a word of provision, a word of strength, a word of rhema, right? That, that word that we need to carry us through, to move us forward, to give us a good push, um, to encourage us, all of those things that the Lord has gone before us and put his word where it needs to be to speak to us at the right time. And I really believe that's what we're going to see this week and where we are in our study with Psalm 1, which I know crazy, we're still in Psalm 1, but the depth of the word is just so good. And so we're in verse 3, and I want to read um, the full verse first, and then this week the particular portion that we are are going to be in. I am reading from, we're going to pull from our Psalm 1 book, so if you have that, we're looking at day 14. If you don't have one and want one, you can um, message me, email me, or go to the website to find them. But Psalm 1 verse 3 says, And he shall be like a tree, firmly planted and tended by the streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. And we're going to read that. We're going to find that in several different places. But this time, um, this week, what we would be looking at is its leaf also shall not fade or wither. And I think that at this point in time, that is Rhema. That as the blessed one, as the established one, as the one who is rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ, in the word, um, that we are like a tree whose leaf shall not fade or wither. And of course, the last part of that is everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. Now, what I want to start off with today um, is some definitions. So that is our bottom line, baseline, just straightforward definition. So what does it mean um, that the leaf shall not fade or wither? So, in day 14, if you have the Psalm 1 book, if not, here's their definitions for you. To wither is to be exhausted, tired, to dry out, lose vitality, force, or freshness. You know, we talked about vitality last week in that the vine is vitally united to the branch or that the branch is vitally united to the vine and that you and I as branches and Jesus as the vine that he is our lifeline literally and so it vital vitality is life and so this says that this blessed one this tree shall not fade or wither so we shall not be exhausted tired dry out to lose vitality force or freshness and i thought about um you know to to the image that you get when something withers away um dries up that it, it draws in and so those are some things that i wrote as well that um to draw up or to withdraw um and then to fade is to lose freshness strength or vitality and the the psalm is telling us here that the one who is firmly planted, the tree firmly planted and tended by the strings of water, who is ready to bring forth its fruit in its season, will not fade. His leaf will not fade or wither. So in the middle of um, what would seem to be a very chaotic time, the promise of God is that we will not wither and that we will not fade and that we will not be exhausted or tired or dried out or lose our um, vibrancy or our vitality, our life. And you know, just as to close us up here today from Matthew chapter 11, 
which we did a live on a couple of weeks ago. I encourage you, you can go back and find that. But Jesus is talking and he says, Come to me, all you who are labor and are heavy laden and overburdened, and I will cause you to rest. I will ease and relieve and refresh your souls. So I encourage you today to that if you feel like, if the enemy has been pressuring you, or if you feel um, the weight that the promise of God is that the blessed one, the one who is rooted and grounded and firmly planted in Jesus Christ, will not be exhausted, tired, will not fade or wither. So we'll pick up here again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.